Hello dear learners, today we will discuss about the immunology. We will start with the definition and we will learn the different terminologies used in immunology. What is immunology? Immunology is the study of immune system or immunity. Looking at the molecules, cells, organs and system which is responsible for the recognition and disposal of foreign particle. The study of all aspects of host defense against infection and of adverse consequences of immune response. Immunology is also the study of the physiological mechanism which enables the body to recognize materials as foreign agents and to neutralize, metabolize or eliminate them without injury to the host cell. Immunity is a state of protection from infectious disease while immune system a remarkably versatile defense system that has evolved to protect the animals from the invading pathogens. Most of them are microorganisms and from some dreadful diseases like cancers. It is able to generate an enormous variety of cells and molecules that are capable of specifically recognizing and eliminating an apparently limitless variety of foreign invaders. Now the terminologies that are used in immunology. Antigen. Antigens are molecules which are capable of stimulating an immune response which provokes the immune response. In a true sense we will call it as an immunogen but antigen is any foreign particle which excites or which stimulates the immune response. Each antigen has a distinct surface feature or we call it as an epitopes resulting in specific response while antibodies they are also known as immunoglobulins these are the y-shaped structures mainly proteins produced by the b cells of the immune system in response to exposure to an antigen this antigen uh, this antibody it contains a region called as a paratop which recognizes with the epitope of the antigen. Here we can find the antigen has epitope which is antigenic determinant while this antibody Y-shape structure this small part of this antibody which actually interact with the epitope is called as an paratop. This paratop it interacts with this epitope and makes this a specific reaction. Each Antibody contains a paratope which recognizes a specific epitope on an antigen acting like a lock and key binding mechanism. Here we can see this is an antigen. This has antigenic determinant that is epitope. So this is zoomed here. This is an antibody. This part of antibody which interact with this antigen. It has a specific region called as an paratope. Paratope it fits in with the epitope that is a key lock and key type of mechanism that is a antibody is specific against a particular antigen a paratope also called as an antigen binding site is a part of antibody which recognizes and binds to the antigen this binding helps to eliminate the antigens from the body either by direct neutralization or by tagging for other arms of the immune system. Antigen, a hook in the cell surface, partially responsible for what goes in and out of the body. It exists in almost every cell in the entire world. It exists due to random mutations in the cell's gene. Antigens are locks or security gates inside a cell. 
while antibodies these are the chemical that attaches to the antigen in order to sterilize or to kill the cell needed for the destruction of the pathogen in the body is a complex chemical that bonds to very specific antigen antibodies are the weapons or keys to attack and destroy a cell so in brief antibodies they cling on to the antigen to either sterilize or to kill the target cells here we will have a comparison of this antigen and antibody so antigen is a substance that induces an immune response while antibody these are the proteins that recognizes and binds to this antigen its molecular type usually the proteins or they may also be a polysaccharides lipids nucleic acid or combinations of them antibody these are proteins made up of different amino acids origin they can be within a body or from an external source like in case with the viruses bacteria or the dust particles antibodies they are always going to be within the body antigen specific binding site we call it as an epitope while on the surface of antibody it is a paratope which interact with the epitope showing specific response history of immune immunology it was edward jenner who studied the response of the body to a foreign substance with his minute observations that the dairy maids who had naturally contracted a mild infection called cowpox seems to have been protected against smallpox in 1796 edward jenner he inoculated an 8 year old boy with fluid from cowpox blister on the hand of a dairy maid the boy contracted cowpox then two months later jenner inoculated him with a fluid from a smallpox blister the boy only developed a small sore at the site of inoculation his exposure to that mild disease cowpox has made him immune to the smallpox infection this was the for the first time back in 1796 when edward jenner for the first time used the vaccination its principle among the largest written observations it goes through individuals recovering from certain diseases rarely contracted the same disease again observations promoted deliberate attempt to induced immunity during athens plague of tucydides in 430 bc recovered people were only the nurse which were sick ones and all others they suffered history of immunology chinese 1500 ad custom of inhaling crust from smallpox lesion to prevent the development of smallpox in later life injecting material from crust or fluid from smallpox blister that is variolation used throughout the eastern world in 19 sorry in 1718 was introduced into the western medicine by british ambassador's wife to turkey and her children so treated the virus note the virus used could be transmitted which induced the protection by variolation was hazardous to the community at large in 1798 the journal's work on vaccinations describing a related yet safe procedure noted people who had cowpox were spared in smallpox epidemics 
what he has done is he has inoculated a boy with pus from milk made from uh, from a milk made with cowpox and he re-inoculated the same boy with infection pus from a patient in the active smallpox no disease state followed these inoculations and experiments were repeated several times with great success even louis pasteur demonstrating that it was possible to attenuate that is or weaken a pathogen and administer that attenuated strain as an vaccine in 1985 sorry 1885 pasteur administered his first vaccine to human a young boy who had been bitten repeatedly by the rabid dog genus he provided first clear evidence that active immunization could be used safely to prevent an infectious disease almost 70 years later pasteur he introduced the method pasteurization and is also recognized and exploited the general principle underlying the vaccination at about 1900s the role of phagocytes and several immunity were cellular immunity were elucidated in 20th century the acquired immunity resulted from both cellular and humoral elements were demonstrated opsonization was described that is the process by which the pathogen is marked by for ingestion and eliminated by the phagocytosis opsonin that is taken from a greek word opsonin means to prepare for eating opsonin is any molecule that enhances the phagocytosis by marking an antigen for an immune response or marking dead cells for recycling that is it causes the phagocyte to relish the marked cell opsonin make a foreign cell more susceptible to phagocytosis after opsonin an antibody binds to the membrane of pathogen the phagocytes are attacked to the pathogen for elimination of the ingestion the term antigen came into regular usage historical events of immunology there are some name of nobel laureates who has been awarded for their work in immunological research 1901 emil von behring for serum antitoxins discovery 1905 robert koch for cellular immunity to tuberculosis 1908 eli mackintoff for her discovery on phagocytosis 1908 paul elrich for antitoxins in immunity 1913 charles richard for anaphylaxis that is type 1 hypersensitivity 1919 jules border for complement mediated bacteriolysis 1930 carl landsteiner for his discovery of human blood group system 1951 max thieler for the development of yellow fever vaccine 1957 daniel bovet for anti histamines 1960 mac farlen Burnett and Peter Medawar for the discovery of acquired immunological tolerance 1972 Rodney Porter and Gerald Elmer Edelman for the chemical structure of the antibodies 1977 Rosalind Yalo for the development of radio immuno assay 1980 George Snell Jean Docast and Baruz Benasarov for MHC that is major histocompatibility complex 1984 Caesar Milston and Kohler for the monoclonal antibody discovery 1984 Neil Jean for immune regulatory theories 1987 
सुसुमो टोनेगा फॉर जीन रीअरेंजमेंट इन एंटीबॉडी प्रोडक्शन 1991 ई डोनाल्ड थॉमस एंड जोसेफ मोरे फॉर द ट्रांसप्लांटेशन इम्यूनोलॉजी 1996 पीटर डोहर्टी फॉर द रोल ऑफ मेजर रिस्पेक्टो कॉम्पेटेबिलिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स 1966 रोल्फ जिंकर नागेल इन एंटीजन रिकॉग्निशन बाय द टी सेल्स These were the major discoveries that were carried out in immunologies.